Ding, ding. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Samurai Showdown Summer Fights Marathon. We just got done with the first game. Now we are going to head on to Samurai Showdown 2. Now, chronologically, I really don't kind of follow. I've been told this was supposed to be a either a sequel or prequel. I mean, again, I don't follow that. All I know is it's just another entry in the game, and each one gets better one way or another. So... Let's get started with Samurai Showdown 2. And this is where we actually get introduced to my main character in the entire franchise. Love that. There's my boy to the left. Let's go ahead and get started first. No. So Kinjiro's got a pretty tragic background. Not sure about his father, but I do from what I've one of her searches, his mother, believe it or not, was a whore. And he would, she would always bring a man into uh, the house. And yeah, he was never happy about that. So, the scar on his back was when he decided to take both of them out. And that was what was left of him. And interesting enough, Jinjiro was the prototype for creating um, Iori Yakami for King of Fighters. Ow. There we go. Kimagami I believe those are on the of cards. There we go. Nice. 
上源一郎お見事お見事アトスフィア
Why the less projectiles? Well, this is a test of blades. That's a pretty close one. So, let me pause her real quick. Alright. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. I had to grab uh, my laundry out of the dryers before it was too late. But hey, at least it's done and over with. Ah, earthquake. From Texas, no less. Alright. Oh, what the fuck is he? Fart? Damn you. He just broke my blade in half. 
Previous one, probably think it does get replaced. Ow. Right there, guys. Uh. Oh boy. But it is a huge improvement, a good improvement over the last one. So. Either way, like I said, this is where they introduce Kinjiro and a few others. And I'll see you guys in Samurai Shodown 3. Stay tuned.